I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is What's in the Tape, Volume 3. Uh, it's been a busy week, so I missed it last week, so um, I'm quite looking forward to this one. So, this is our tape. This is our C15 computer cassette. Uh, it looks like, from what I can read on here, and you can probably read too, is that we've got, it says we've had Elite crossed out at the bottom, so it's definitely Elite, unless it's Belite, but I think it's Elite. I think it's just a big pen that was used there. And we've got uh, Dark Empire on this side. Um, and on the other side, um, what have we got here? We have... Ket. Now that sounds like a game I've actually seen before. That's the far corner there. It's Ket. And then we've also got Elite and Cos. I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to load this. Um, and we're going to give it a go. Just to see whether or not we can actually get this going. And without uh, without forgetting, we've got... As he says, reaching across and making a great big shadow. We've also got our... Uh, um, screwdriver to um, adjust our heads if we need to so that we can see it loading. So, anyway, um, without further ado, we'll get this in, into the tape drive and we'll give it... Hi. Right, okay, so our tape is in the drive. Um, and now it's time to try that loader. So, um, let's go, we'll go with the 48k, I think, because I think we've had better luck with 48k. So, I'm on my, um, plus 2a, and they're not the most compatible things in the world. Let's just go with load dit dit, and we'll give it a go. I used to call it as that, as a kid, you dit dit. So, right, okay, so we're on side, the first side, which had said the Dark Empire, or, um, Elite. Was Dark Empire actually something to do with Elite? Was it the version of it? Wouldn't it be funny though if we loaded this up and it was the lens lock version so I can't even see it. <laughs> I don't think I've got a lens lock that would work on it to be honest nowadays. It may yet be the top 40 though from uh, 1988. It's fairly quiet so far. We're not, nothing happening. The tape is whirring. Can't hear anything. Doesn't sound very good. I'll turn up the volume on the telly a little bit there. Nothing thus far. Hmm. Okay. I hope this isn't going to be one of them videos like the very first one. I didn't find anything. I'm going to fast forward it a bit because Miss they've recorded it a little further along. Oh, there is data there, I can hear it. It's just very, very quiet. It's so quiet, I can't pick it up. Yeah, it's there. It's so quiet. Right, okay. Um, based on that initial analysis there, I'm actually going to flip this over and I'm going to try the other side because um, it might have been recorded louder, but that, that was so quiet. I could hear it, but the, the, the computers can't hear it. It's too quiet for it. Let's flip this over. I'm rewinding the tape now. And we'll see whether or not it's loud enough on this side for it to work. The problem with your plus two, of course, is that you, you, you're, you're, you're stuck with the um, volume that it uses within the drive itself. So, so if it's just a little too quiet when it's been recorded, that's how it stays. Right, okay, let's go again. Hear something there scratching away. Oh, that sounds better. Oh, okay, didn't expect that. So we went straight into um, straight into some kind of direct load. Let's just see if we can spit the fast forward a little bit. We'll see if I can find something that will actually load. Oh, I love that! Yeah, I love that sound. That sounds to me like a loading screen, though. Oh, I love that! I love that sound. It's a brilliant sound. Right, okay, fast forward on. That's much better volume on this side. Well, that doesn't sound too good. Oh, horrible. Right, okay, maybe we've got a space here for something else. Are we ready? Brace yourselves.
I hear nothing so far. This could be it. I'm fast forwarding. Oh. Oh. Okay, if we've got a load sound, let's hope we've got a load. Nah, let's take halfway through straight away. That has definitely been recorded over at least once, so let's see. Ah? Let's go back a bit. See if we can actually get something that's just come appears at the end of there. Okay, here we go. Right. Load bites. Okay, we'll 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 break there, we'll push the break button, and what we'll do is we'll give it a try, we'll give it a load code, um, and hopefully hopefully we might get something to load here. Even if it's just a screenshot, I'd like something to come up on the screen. So let's give this a go. There we go, okay. Even if it's just a screenshot, I'm quite cool with that. We had some luck previously with this. Um, uh, there, was a, there, was a, there was a debate running on my, my, my... Oh. Okay, so it's gone yellow. Don't know what's going to happen now. Nothing thus far. Yeah, there's a debate running on my, my, my last uh, video about how I managed to load the game Blitz. Uh, because it kind of loaded the code and then that was it. Right, okay, that load code there looks like it was probably the end of something. Because the screen edge border has gone yellow. It's obviously ran whatever it was. And there are no... There's nothing further on the tape, I guess. <clears throat> I guess that was the end of the program that was on there um, to do that. Right, now I'm about, I'm about halfway through this tape. I've just popped it open there to have a little look. I'm about halfway through. I'm going to push the reset button. You'll get my little um, HDMI scale, upscaler appearing on the screen. I do apologise for my cold. It's giving me sort of a quite a gruff voice. It's down here somewhere. Um, it's been getting me all week, this cold, actually. Right, we're going to get the load li loading on there again. Um, and we'll see whether we can find something here. I think it's going to be empty. I think we're going to be a little lucky in this particular occasion. I'm very unlucky on this occasion. That sounds very empty indeed. Also, it's just a couple of records on it here. I'm just forwarding on again. We're going to see if we can get any further. Something quite interesting about this. Quite, I quite enjoy these these um, videos. I I know that they 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 I mean they're very hit and miss, obviously. But 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 it's quite exciting actually finding something of of, of on them. Um, yeah, that's looks like it is. Yeah, that's being hit in the end there. That's definitely empty. Right, I'm going to give it another fast forward on the first side again, and we'll give it a little try, see whether or not I can actually find anything on there. Um, sort of if I get halfway, I feel it was recorded too quietly, and um, that was the thing, wasn't it? Once you dubbed and dubbed and dubbed and dubbed and dubbed with this, with it as a kid, you know, everybody had a recorder. They were all sort of you know two two tip getter blasters and all that. If you remember those, um, and we all used to record from one to the other, and you'd put the two things on, you push the tape. But every time you record it, of course, the quality degraded and degraded and degraded. Um, and if you were really unlucky, by the time it was on that sort of tenth copy, because they they went around a lot. Um, You'd had it, you know, that copy was the, the bad one. Now I can hear the data. I don't know if you can, but it's so quiet that the recorder isn't even, isn't even, it's not even registering. It's not even registering. Well, that was a bit of a, a bit of a disaster there. So what we'll do is, uh, give me a second. Um, in fact, I'm going to just flip between the one and the other. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out, I've got some cover tapes that I've got. So I'm going to pull out a cover tape and we'll do, we'll do that because that's definitely, we know what's on the tape there. Um, and we'll, we'll give that one a try. So I'll, I'll flip that up on the screen in any second now. Um, and I'll give you, uh, when, when I'm just starting the next thing. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll do, uh, We'll do we'll do a cover tape just for a second so that at least there's something to say instead of just watching uh, zero 
happening. Alright. Um hang on a second. Okay, so we're back, right? And I've picked out a cover tape. I have no idea what it's what it's got on it. It's um, Crash Presents September 1989. I'm sure I could find out, um, but it's, I've got literally no instructions. So I'll, I'll put a picture on the screen there of it for you, so, that, so so you can actually see this 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 tape. Um, came the box, but that's all I've got. So um, we're going out further ado. We'll push the button because I want to know what's on here. So let's go for it. One side A, of um. The Crash Edition. I'm going to call this the additional, the enhanced version, Volume Three, the enhanced version. I think of the, 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 the what's on the tape, and simply because that we're bound to find something on this tape. If not, well, you never know. Actually, somebody might have plugged up the holes, and God knows what is on it. Oh, here we go. Brace yourself, Rockman. Oh, where we go. Now it's either a full game or a demo. You never know with these things. Rockman is loading. Wait or else. Or else he's going to come round your house and smash up all your rocks in your garden. <laughs> That's really good. This is about to be a winner, though. I have no else or idea what else is on this tape, though. Oh, we're getting our loading screen. Oh, I love this bit. You've got to enjoy it. I, You know, as a Spectrum user, one of my favourite parts is that bit where... It, it's loading the data and you can start seeing it coming from a screen like this where it's, it's living line by line and then when you hit the, that button it all kind of blasts down the screen and sort of there you go that noise as it comes down is brilliant uh, Rockman's a bit of a uh, Rockman's uh, I'm trying to remember what Rockman is actually I think I've played this on my channel. I certainly know that um, Dave Bertzel's played it on his channel. Um, if I'll put a link in the description below to his channel. Um, yeah, he's definitely played it. I, it's it's um, is it Boulder Dash? No, it's not Boulder Dash. Oh, it's the other one. Oh, I can't remember its name now. It's based on an arcade game where you kind of have to. I think you have to kill everything. I can't remember. I can't remember. Let's wait for it to load and we'll find out what it actually is. It should be. Shouldn't it? Shouldn't take long. It's still think it's a big game. So we've got Rock Rockman on this one for certain. I wonder what else we've got on here. Oh, we're loading. Brace yourself. Oh, it won't take long. Tempted to stop it and start again when it gets there. What do you think? Should we stop it and I'll just, I'll, I'll 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 catch you when it's loaded? Yeah, that's a good idea, I think. So hang a second. For you, it'll be a blink of an eye. For me, it'll be at least a couple of minutes. All right. And in the blink of an eye, we have an R-tape error, loading error. <laughs> Spectrum's brilliant. Okay, we'll skip this one. We're moving on. We're going to see what else is on here. So I'm just going to press the reset on my, my Spectrum. We'll move on. We'll see what else we can find on this tape. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit here. Um, that's still Rockman. On we go. Still Rockman. Still Rockman. Definitely rock, man. There must be a few things on this tape, though. You know, it sounds like... Something. <laughs> I was going to say, it sounds like the end. It doesn't... Uh, there we go. Just a wee bit back. Okay, let's go down. We'll do the 48k loader, because... Um, that's more likely to be what's on here. More likely. Oh, Cat 2. Ah, oh, right, this is one of the things that was going to appear on that other tape. Do you remember the, the one we were just checking before? That was one of the things that said Cat. It didn't say Cat 2, though. I'm not entirely sure what Cat is anyway. Rings a bell with me. I, I'm sure it's an abbreviation for something else. Should we wait for the screen to load before before I stop and let's see if it, we don't get any more R tape loading? It's been a disaster, hasn't it? You can imagine having to load tapes and they're not working at all. It's a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. What, what kind of... Oh. Are we not going to get a loading screen? Are we going to get a loading screen? I'm open for a loading screen. Loading screen would be nice. Come on. When you... Oh, here we go. No, we didn't. It made all the noises for a loading screen and nothing happened. Interesting. 
Noises I'd expect for a loading screen, anyway. If this is what... Oh, there it is! Wow! The Temple of Varan. Part part two of the Ket Technology... Te um, um, trilogy. Yeah, I, I, this, I say, this, this rings a bell. I think this is a, some kind of adventure game of some sort. I'm not entirely sure... What kind of adventure game? But we'll do a pause again um, for you, and uh, I'll I'll see if it loads. So hang on a second. Okay, so it's loaded, um, and it's come up with your statistics, your stats, statistics, statistics, statistics. Uh, you begin with adventure with the following uh, abilities: prowess ten, uh, energy eleven, luck eleven. You may call up your current condition by asking for stat right also oh, it's a typey thing your prowess is a measure of your swordsmanship your energy is a measure of your physical condition and your luck is self-explanatory yeah so we've got it can either be lucky or not lucky I'm pressing the key uh, you were in a pa oh it's a typey adventure job oh right okay so it's a text adventure you were in a passage um, a vast boulder blocks your way west is a light and uh, well, sorry blocks your way to the west but light comes from the east well let's go I'll just, I'm going to type inventory actually because I want to know what I'm carrying I can't spell there we go inventory you see you can type short words to do it you have a suit of magic armor, a sword, which I'm obviously equipped, and a ma magic look ring. Cool. Okay, let's do east. Ooh. Can see a sharp axe. Get axe. Oh. Get axe. So we've got the axe. Um. We are outside the passage, and to the east we see, uh, to the east we can hear water, so we can hear water. Um, I'm going to examine the axe first though. Find out what the axe is like. It says it's sharp. Nothing special. Can we equip the axe? Equip axe. What about the axe? Uh, don't equip it. Use axe. Please be more specific. Okay, so we're going to go east again. There's a boulder block in our way so far, so we'll go east. We are the bank of a wide river. There are trees all round. To the west is a passage. What now? Swim river? I wonder what else this was, actually. It just feels like... I wouldn't. It's full of blood-sucking leeches. Oh, no. Oh. Eat leech. <laughs> Full of full of fibre. I'm sure I saw a cooking program once where they actually did eat the leech because you know once it had fed on something, um, they sort of boiled it in its 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 thing and you basically it was it was kind of like um, pig's blood stroke sort of uh, and it's really weird but anyway you you basically you'd let it feed on something and you boiled it as a kind of it was the package for the for the food kind of weird anyway um yeah so that was that's that's um uh, the part two of the 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 um, the, uh, the 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 cat trilogies um must find part one actually I quite like the look of this one I like the format you normally with your text adventures the the things kind of stay on the screen the scroll scroll over as you type and do things this one seems to clear it every time you get to a new room and it's really positive about the way it wants you to read about where you're actually at so um i'm just gonna try and move move boulder for the fun of it let's see if that happens boulder it's too heavy smash boulder i'm just testing now What about the boulder? Yeah, maybe use the axe on the boulder. Anyway, um, yeah. So that's 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 that that's well, that's that's a, well, it's a success over a crash tape. We're about to get something on there. Um, I'll pause it. I'll, I'll, well, to be fair, I'm gonna no, I won't pause it. What I'll do is I'll reset the, the 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 spectrum. I'll turn this over and we'll I'll turn the tape over now, um, and I'll reset the spectrum. Just hit the rewind on there. And what we'll do is we'll we'll see what's on the other side. You see, as I say, I had no idea what's on it. I just basically got. A, I've got a sort of cassette which which had nothing on it here. Um, we'll go with the 
Should we go with the loader just in case it's a one to eight game? I don't know if one to eight was out in nineteen eighty nine. Somebody tell me in the comments below. Somebody will know quicker than I can. I can't remember. Right, okay. So we're playing again. So the other side. Now these crash specials tended to have four games in total on them. So we had Rockman, we had we had uh, the the Temple of uh, uh, Varan, um, and now we're gonna see what's on this side. I have no idea. No idea. I always thought your Sinclair had better stuff though, because they had like they got people to actually do stuff for them. Uh, grumpy, oh, grumpy what? Let's see if we get to the load screen first. Yeah, they, I always thought they were better. I thought they always had a better selection of, of sort of games that came on there. Um, one in particular was a, a game called Dustin. I'm sure that was your Sinclair. Um, I'm going to dig that one out later. I think I might even do a, I might even do a little review on that if I get a chance. Um, but yeah, Dustin and and a few others. They're really kind of. The, 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 I always thought they had the better the better options, but they also went out of the way to make. Ooh, they also went out the way made the way to make um, uh, their own games, if that makes sense. Or they used to publish other people's games with with your Sinclair spin on them. I always quite like that. I don't remember Crash doing that, if I'm honest. Crash was probably the. I don't know, I'm probably gonna. I'm not gonna be probably nobody's friend here. I think Crash was probably the better magazine. Ooh, that's gonna be controversy. Yeah, um, but I always thought it was it was it was grittier, um, sort of more more edgy, um, and I think that. But I but I, but I, but I, I love the Austin Clare too. Don't don't get me wrong. But uh, I thought it was more gritty. But I always thought the Austin Clare had the better, um, better 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 games on the front. Of course, you had Sinclair User as well, but I always thought of that as more of a, a programming magazine. You know, you got the the programming bits and pieces that came with it. Right, well, I'm going to stop for a second, and I'll, uh, and and in a blink of an eye, we'll we'll have Grumpy, um, um, Super Sleuth loaded. Grumpy Grumfrey, that's his name. Grumpy Grumfrey, Super Sleuth loaded. So hopefully that we won't get another R tape error. Anyway, are we second? And and, and we'll be won the game. Okay, so um, uh, it's gone wrong. You know, it's a little question mark and an L at the bottom corner flashing away. Um, to be fair, we didn't have much. Tr we had some trouble with the previous side, so I'm, I wonder if just the same sort of thing. So um, I'm going to quit that now, and I'm going to try and load the next game on here. I did like the the, the the picture though; it was quite cool. Right. Okay. Well, I don't hear data, so let's just do the load and see what happens. I think some of these tapes, they've, they've had a hard time. A lot of these things come, you know, you get a lot of these things and they come out of people's attics and they, they haven't been in cassette cases and they've been, you know, left on the... Um, Spectra? Spectra. Oh, is this a... I, I might know this one. Anyway, yeah, I was saying that they get left in people's attics and they get left and, you know, they're half rewound and, and people kind of wind them back on again. They stick them on eBay or take them to car boot sales and... They've not, they've not had the best of lives, you know. They've not had the best of lives. They, 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 you know, they, they've kind of been stored for donkeys years, and now, of course, it's all kind of quite popular again. And, um, but, I, however, I do recommend collecting for spectrums and Amstrads and things like that. The, the, the price of the games are reasonable if you look at the tapes. Um, but yeah, you, you kind of, uh, they kind of have this hard life, and it, it just, it's just a shame, really. So I'm kind of some, I'm not quite surprised when it does that. Oh, the Spectre of Baghdad, ah, Atlantis. I recognise the name, and I also recognise the the budget uh, um, producers, the the Atlantis people. They were quite late. Well, that's not too bad. It's nineteen eighty-seven. That was, they were sometimes quite late into the market with um, with games with Atlantis. I played Hobgoblin recently, and that was it's quite it's very hard. Graphically, it was quite good. Um, the the, the cover was quite nice. Nineteen eighty-nine. That was same same as this tape actually. That looks really good. Um, right, again, blink of an eye, and I'll see you back in a second. Okay, so the Spectre of Bad Dad has, or Baghdad, Bad Dad? Not Bad Dad, it's Bad Dad. Um, Baghdad has loaded. Um, the only thing I've done is um, set up the keyboard. I've got uh, OP, um, space to jump, and I have a Q to enter and A to swap, and I'm not sure what that means. So, we'll, without further. Um, procrastination will uh, start a new game. Oh, right, okay. I've seen this before. I can't remember when, though. Oh, I've got a flute. What am I carrying right now? Oh, it's just, I've got a miner's hat and a flute, and I can swap, I'm guessing. Oh, ah! Right, I can swap. I've got two things in my bag, look, so I can swap between the two. So it looks like um, looks like an, 
adventure game of some sort. Can I pick up the lap lantern? No. Uh. Right, so I've got the flute and the lights. It looks like it's um I've got a whip now. It looks like some kind of adventure game actually. Okay. So that's to enter there. Oh, look at them. They're still and right from Jet Set Willy, aren't they? They're the guards that you see in the in the gatehouse. Oh, the little picture in the bottom changes as well. So I've got a sword. I think I'll take a sword and a, and a whip. I don't think I can hurt anybody with it. There's a trident. Ah! Oh, I like the graphics on this one. I got a king seat. I don't know what the story is here. Remember, I've I've just loaded this, so I'm not entirely sure what it's all about. But I have to admit, I'm quite taken by the graphics already. Air uh, Baghdad, Baghdad. Yeah. Cool. Oh wow! It lets you wander everywhere. I got some keys. All right, that just takes me through the building and go on the air uh, um, Baghdad again. Right. That's a fan. Can't go that way. Got to enter into there. It's really interesting. I like the look of this. I do like do like the big sprites and I and you know what I also like about it is they don't care they seem to not care too much about the, the colour clash, which I, I which is I actually don't mind that. I quite like it when people go, Oh don't stuff it, you know, it's not it's 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 there. We'll just go with the flow. Right, okay. Um Ooh More of them guards. Empty insect net. Right. There's a ring or a bomb. You've got to assume it's a bomb. Not found anything to use anything on yet, though. You can't come to bed until you've cleared up the house. It's Jet Set Willy, isn't it? Because I'm assuming this is your. This is the. No, she won't let me in. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. It seems to be Jet Set Willy in the in the in the scale of the scale of things. Right. So I've got to clear up the house. How do I clear up the house, though? How do I get rid of these things? Right. Where do I take all these things? These must be a place that I take it. Yeah, I got a trident. Does it allow me to kill the fish if I hit the fish with the trident? No. Don't see we going down energy wise though, did I? Don't see it'll die. Nothing's killing me. Oh, interesting! It's even it's it's not even. And this is off the tape, by the way. This is off the actual crash tape. It seems that this is almost this is almost you seem to have almost invincible lives or inv uh, you know invincible. I bet I can die off the edge of there. No, I can't even jump off the edge of there. That doesn't even hurt me. Okay, this is interesting. I wonder where else I can go. Let's go through here and see if we can find out what's going on here. Right, got snakes. Oh, now that I know I can't be hurt, it's even it's it's, it's more interesting. Come on, handsome, touch me. Ah, oh, there. Uh, oh, I died. Oh, but I didn't because still got infinite lives. Right, so that's she needs a mirror. We need a mirror for her, because that's a Medusa. And Medusa, the only way you kill Medusa is you, you have to have a mirror. And did I see a mirror not too long long ago? I'm sure I did, you know. I'm sure I saw a mirror. What's that? It's a spider. Ah, I've got an insect net. Can't do anything with it. Oh. I thought that might be useful. Right, so I need a mirror. I definitely saw a mirror. Let's have a little look, see if I can find a mirror. That's the bomb. Did I see a mirror up here? Jump over this gap. Keys. Sword. I saw a mirror in the room where I'm not allowed to be in. You can't come to bed until you've cleaned up. She's harsh. She's very harsh. I don't deserve it. 
I must have been I must have been naughty. Alright, okay. No. Why don't they kill me? They just make a funny noise. You'd have thought they'd kill me. Seems to have infinite lives on. Does make it a lot easier with infinite lives, I have to admit. Okay, on we go. We're whizzing across. So, a whisk. Did I see a mirror over one of these places? Let's have a look and see if I can find a mirror. Monkey in the tree. Timer. Oh, ah, further places to go. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to die, Oasis. Oh right, no, I'm going to go to it. Am I going to it? Is he going to make it? He's crawling all the way. Oh, I need a bottle of water for that, don't I? Clearly. Otherwise, I'm never going to make it there. Right, so it's building up to a lot of different things. That's quite interesting. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. This has been What's on the Tape Volume 3. I know that it's actually an extended edition. Um, but thanks for watching. I've been your host, Real Giant Human. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about the cough. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye now.